Ay, na ho. You'd go over. Today we'll be talking about how to play a spinning net in singles. So more of the vertical ones instead of the long ones that I always talk about. So you guys need to understand that there are a few kinds of spin. Like this, there is spin that's left to right. There is spin that's right to left. And then there's combination. And that's where you get the most effective spin. If you're able to combine left and right, you'll be able to get like the tumble like this. So we're going to be talking through the different kinds of spin in singles and just in badminton in general and how to achieve them. The shadows we'll be using today, of course, are Airplane Reds. I'm not sponsored. I'm just trying to sell these because we have so many in my condo right now. If you're looking for actually decent shuttles, please DM me and I can sell you some. So the biggest mistake that a lot of people have when trying to spin, so I'm looking at you particularly, Marco, is they try to have a, this like huge huge accuracy. You have to realize like your time to influence the shuttle speed, direction, and power is very little. It's literally just the moment it touches the strings. So your spin needs to be like this. It needs to be like tiny in order to get the most spin. We're actually going to be starting with just the front to back spin. I would say the most fundamental spin. the most consistent. It's the one you can do the easiest. It doesn't even require you to move your hand. It actually requires you to lunge forward with your, with your knee. You're going to be reaching out and then just lunging with your knee. But everyone should be able to do it, especially singles players. You're literally just going to reach out, right? Boom. And yeah, as you can see, right, I'm really exaggerating my knee lunge, right? The premise is that you're using the momentum of your body to get this forward to back spin, okay? All right, so on the backhand side, right, it's the same thing. You want to be lunging forward using your hips a little bit. For me, my backhand side is a little bit weaker, but right, it's the premise it remains the same. You want to take it high, you want to lunge into it, right? So now what we have is we have what's called left to right spin. So what you're doing, you're taking a shuttle and then you're going to actually like start with your thumb and like left to right, right? When you guys do left to right on the backhand side, the shuttle should spin like this. So for right now, we're just gonna be influencing it like this. So again, you'd wanna take it as high as you can, right? Like that, right? And as you can see, I'm not like swinging like this. First of all, the timing is super hard and I'm not trying to slice it, right? As soon as it touch, just a little squeeze. Like that. So typically you don't want to be doing this though, unless you're on the other side. It's more of a right side thing. Because like as you can see in singles, if you're trying to make the court bigger, a left to right spin like this is going to bring the shuttle into court, right? So like there's one scenario where you would use it and it's in counter spin. Meaning for example, they had already played a good spinning net shot. It has come down, it's tumbled, right? The shuttle will already have some spin. So the only time you would do it left to right is like down here and it's down here you'd spin like that. The premise is that they, they've already spun it. So you're trying to counteract their spin because typically on this side, they're going to be playing a forehand right to left spin. If you add more right to left spin, I know this is getting a little bit more ranty in advance, but if you add more right to left spin to a right to left spinning shuttle, it's just going to fall. So if you want to go back up, you would need to, yeah, you would need to like play a left to right spin. And again, right, super, yeah, like that. That's the only reason you would really do it. Now we're going to be doing right to left, which is a lot more common for the backhand side. But you're going to be seeing right the same concept, taking it high, but instead of doing left to right, we're gonna be doing inwards. So typically some people are very dramatic with this. You're typically just gonna, instead of doing this, right, you're just doing this, All right? And as you can see, right, uh, just a, this is a small wrist action. So on this guy's side, we're gonna be starting with right to left. So on the forehand side, it's a bit more versatile. You can, you can usually play both. So again, we'll be starting on the right inwards, basically, from right to left, right? And you kinda of wanna be like scooping it. You wanna kind of be making like a J shape. So you're using your index finger, right? And kind of just squeezing like this, like that left to right spin is gonna look like this. You can do this in the middle because sometimes you'll play net shots to the middle and sometimes you want to push them away to the side. So you can spin like this. And then also, of course, the other point is, for example, if the shuttle has gotten really low, you would have to play the counter, right? You'd have to play left to right in order for it to go back up, right? So for example, right, left to right, like this, right? Yeah. Something like that. So that's really it. Forehand, you have backhand. And now you just, you need to practice, right? So you need to get someone like Santi or you need a coach and just have some hand toss, hand toss, hand toss, right? It's a really nice way to just kind of end training drills just by doing this. I mean, it's just a rep, rep, rep sting. You really just gotta do it over and over again until you get it. So yeah, hopefully this helped your spin game, your net game. Remember always though, to play the long net more often than the spinning net in doubles, which we will talk about in another video. Bye-bye.